this is Hellfire of Nervosa, Web and Afterblood and you're watching That Metal Interview Podcast. What's going on, guys and girls? Thank you for being a part of the show once more. That Metal Interview Podcast, the best podcast in the world. Rock metal, that is. It is to me, so hopefully you guys like it. Uh, the content that we put out, uh, whether it's video or just audio, we much appreciate your support. Thank you for sharing, downloading, and thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel, That Metal Interview Podcast, and thank you for tuning in to our sister rock station, jrocksmetalzone.com. Anyways, our guest for this episode of That Metal Interview has the coolest name ever. Her name is Hale Pyre. Now, isn't that cool? Is that metal or what? I mean, if somebody wants to address her, you got to call her Hale. Isn't that uh, very cool, man? So anyways, Hale Pyre. Let's check out a jam from Nervosa, the latest one, Endless Ambition. And she's the bassist of Nervosa, by the way, the lead vocalist for After Blood and the member of Web. Anyways, here's Nervosa, the latest one. Endless Ambition, Napalm Records. Here is Hellpire. Enjoy. Control! 
Metal. Metal up your ass. As Metallica was supposed to name their first album, Kill 'em All. This is Metal all the way. Uh, Nervosa with Prika Amaral on the lead vocals and guitar, as we learned back in March of 2023, of the change in vocalist and where they revealed that she is now the front woman as she's always been the manager and owner founder of the band of course anyway so that's hellpire on the bass and she'll reveal to us how many songs she recorded on the new nervosa album you'll be surprised anyways here's our conversation with the great bassist and after blood vocalist hellpire enjoy <laughs> Yeah, where are you at? Greece? Yeah, yeah, Athens. Awesome, wow. How's the weather up there? Uh, quite hot. It's summer here, so it's getting a bit hot during summer. Really? I thought it'd be cold since uh, Europe, you know, and all that. I guess it, I didn't I didn't study in school well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's getting quite hot. Not like Texas, but uh, it, it is, it is. <laughs> okay, so before we get into your music career and, and the bands and all that, I'm real curious to see how you got your name, Hellpire. How did that happen? Uh, the name is uh, Hell from Helena, which is my name. Oh. Uh, but also Hell is uh, the Norwegian goddess of the underworld. Okay. And uh, that's why I have this uh, makeup with this uh, half and half face because uh, uh, this Let's say hell has a half dead face and then a half alive, and uh, yeah, it's, just, it's the whole like uh, folklore thing about her. So um, I felt very connected to this character. So it was the, the name and also the Norse goddess. Very interesting. So yeah. So your family calls you Hell or Helena, right? Hell, El, Hell, Helena, Helena's. Uh, everything <laughs> that's so cool if somebody for example a fan comes up to you they call you hell right yeah, yeah. wow that's so cool it's rock it's metal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks well you don't know, have it in hell you know hell so anyways yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. wow you got a cool name so uh, um congrats on the nervosa gig how do you feel uh with an international touring band oh it's great it's great and uh So far, we've been in like UK and Europe, and uh, it has been really good. And now we're about to start the summer festivals. Uh, this year, they have all the big uh, festivals uh, booked, so it's amazing. So it's, it's really awesome to be with this band. And we all know you're not a a new person or a new musician to to the metal world. You have. Uh, after blood you have web and uh, yep. other other uh, things you've done so um, how are things with the girl so far any fights any arguments oh no 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 everything's been very smooth and there has been very nice chemistry with the current lineup so no complaints uh, it's really really nice how did you get the, the gig was it a uh, uh, facebook uh, social media right or email yeah yeah that, that's the good thing with uh, social media because you can find other people can find you you can find other musicians and uh, uh, Prika was looking for uh, a bass player and she had me in mind uh, she also knew me from when uh, I played with King Diamond in Mexico so she had you know like following on Facebook from then so yeah. it was like an acquaintance through social media and when the opportunity came it was like yeah of course absolutely I can join well before we get into Nervosa and your music again uh, you mentioned King Diamond some people might not know that uh, you toured with him for a bit you were on stage yes. with King Diamond and yes doing back vocals wow how did that feel I mean I'm sure you're a fan before that right Oh yeah, yeah, big fan. Oh, surreal! <laughs> <laughs> It was amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been fan ever since I was a kid. So it was like a dream coming true, being on stage with King <laughs> Diamond. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely surreal. Did you guys rehearse, or, or did you just got a set list? Oh yeah. And then, oh, you rehearsed, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been before the shows. I I traveled to Texas and uh, we rehearsed. Dallas, and, yeah. yeah, that was also amazing. So, 
So it was the whole deal, the whole package. How did you feel when you met uh, King Diamond? Uh, the first time we met, uh, like, yeah, but you see one of your idols in person, it's like, wow. And uh, he's, uh, he's an amazing guy, he's very professional, he's very humble, so it was really good to know him in person as well and see that this persona is also uh, a, a, a great guy, like, in real life. I did know you could sing like that. Of course, we know your vocals from After Blood and uh, different projects, right? So you mm -hmm. can actually you can actually sing. You, you're an actual vocalist because to do those King Diamond parts, you got to be a singer. How did you get your your? Yeah, your yeah. How, how did you build that voice? Uh, hell, uh, how did you? Uh, was since you were a kid or were classes or? I have done some classical uh, music theory and stuff, but uh, I've been singing. That's the first thing I did, you know, and then I went to bass. So I've been singing for quite a, a lot of time. So, yeah, and also being a fan of, um, let's say, a band or specific vocals, you practice by singing all the time. So yeah. uh, I've been practicing forever with this uh, kind of style. Yes, but uh, I'm a musician here in Texas, and I understand... Uh, musicians uh, there's two kinds of musicians that i believe exist uh the natural kind and then there's people that are, that are not natural and you can teach them and some you cannot teach but what you have yeah. is a uh, natural you're you're a natural uh musician you're a natural feel you have natural voice uh are you no. uh is there musical people in your family or no no actually not and uh when i started being involved in music and metal it was like a very uh, you know, being against it, you know. Especially my father was like, "What is this? Why are you listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> or why are you involved in singing, playing? Why?" <laughs> so it was exact opposite. So yeah, it was, it was totally what I wanted. Strange, huh? Yeah, same yeah. here. Uh, when I was started listening to rock metal as a kid, my parents they don't, they don't like this kind of music, so. They would call it. Yeah. Uh, they would call it dogs barking music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I understand. Yeah, I can understand. So, anyways, uh, awesome. That's just awesome to to be involved with King Diamond at all. Even to even for him and uh, his his wife. And uh, you mentioned in another interview, you, you know his wife, right? A little bit. Yeah. 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 That's just awesome to be to get a phone call from those people and and be invited for that kind of stuff. I would have been nervous and I would have melted on stage already. Oh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure you were nervous, so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an <laughs> incredible honor, and yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's one of your idols. <laughs> of course, and you would melt. <laughs> wow, awesome. So, anyways, back to Nervosa. Um, did you record the bass on the new stuff, or it wasn't you? Uh, actually, the album was already recorded when they when Prika uh, contacted me, but uh, at least... For one song, uh, we made an exception and said, okay, let's at least put bass in one song. Let's make it a bit, uh, delay a bit the whole uh, process because, you know, labels want um, the material to be at least six months before the release uh, ready. So I just managed to record in one song. Uh, I wish I could be there earlier to do it from the beginning. Yeah, but right, yeah. I, I guess I can do it the next one the next album so when you say next one that means you're a full-time bassist right yes exactly yeah awesome I mean, uh, Mia is also uh, be also playing in some shows it's like um, having two bass players but yeah uh, the, uh, most of the shows will be with me so far yeah that was one of my questions that's kind of strange two bass players how do you feel about that I mean I just saw that she did a couple of shows and and uh, were you uh, yeah, were you there or no? Italy. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Italy it was her. No, it's great. It's great. I mean, it was uh, that was the deal from the beginning. Like, um, okay. there are no. Um, she she hasn't like left the band, and there are no hard feelings. But she couldn't continue with uh, the live shows. But she's still a member, a part of the band. So whatever she can participate or play she will be there i knew that from the beginning and uh, it's perfectly fine with me okay cool so uh, brika explained mm -hmm. that it's part of the the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the contract okay yeah, cool yeah, yeah. nice yes 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 
So, uh, which is your favorite Nervosa song? I think the, the one that's the, the last single, the Endless Ambition. Endless Ambition! So far, that's what I. It's, it has stuck in my mind. <laughs> Very cool. So speaking of uh, After Blood, talk to me about fragmented balance. Mm-hmm. What's behind that title and all that? Uh, it's a very like. Um, existential uh, how can I say it? Like the lyrics are about the society and how you how I at least feel being in this world we're living in and um, uh, yeah it's like being in a very fragile balance all the time that everything feel like you're about to break and you're in in a very thin ice all the time that's a bit uh, like the, the meaning of the whole lyrics. Did you write that song or who writes the, the lyrics for After Blood? Oh, me, me. You're the lyricist. Okay, cool. Yeah, Where, yeah. What are the plans right now for After Blood? Uh, for fans asking what's what's next here? We have the new album already recorded. And uh, actually at this moment, uh, I'm in the process with the label, you know, to see when it will be released. So very soon there will be a new album out. And uh, for people that uh, don't know, After Blood, uh, they have to check this out. This is awesome music, also. And uh, mm-hmm. you're Thank the you. you're the lead singer. Yes. Different vocals than the King Diamond stuff you did. This is a death metal uh, voice, I yes. guess you can call it. Death this. metal voice. It has some clean parts also, but some? mostly it's death metal vocals. Yes. So uh, the same question, uh, Hell, how did you develop? This uh, growling voice, how did that come? I can't do that myself, never could. Not just anybody can go out there and, and be a death metal vocalist either. How did you develop this uh, different voice? I loved the sound of it. I love this, you know, being a death metal, black metal fan always. So I loved the, those vocals and I wanted. So I tried and I practiced and it takes a lot of training and practicing and techniques with breathing. And of course, it helps a lot if you go on uh, live shows because there the whole breathing is uh, crucial. Uh, but yeah, it was because I really, really like these kind of vocals. So awesome uh, work there for sure. Does it, Thank you. Does this mean that you listen to death metal or, or do you just play it? And do you listen to other kinds of music like pop music or hip hop or jazz? Uh, mostly. Mostly metal, like all okay, all genres, but mostly metal. I'm not such a pop or hip hop fan. Yeah, you don't like like Michael Jackson, nothing like that. No, hip hop. Michael Jackson, yeah, of course I like Michael Jackson. Uh, you mean like the the traditional pop stuff? Yeah, Michael yeah. Jackson is God. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> cool stuff, right? You don't have to be a, a fan, yeah. a big fan, to to enjoy that kind of music, right? I'm a metalhead too. Oh so. yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, and a major respect for artists like him. So, um, how are you, this is a, something that fans might not know, uh, since you have about three bands, active bands, right, including Web, how are you balancing all these three bands with the schedule, the scheduling of Nervosa? Uh, I'm sure Prika is aware of that you want to play with the other bands, right? How is that happening? How is that? How are you fixing that? Uh, we have to fix the schedule according to like the heaviest touring right now and at this moment it's Nervosa but uh, if there is always like uh, uh, we, we talk to each other and see like how we can arrange stuff so there won't be any conflict and um, yeah of course Brika knew before that uh, there are these bands and they have uh, things going on so we are always like trying to figure out what's best Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. I spoke to a different, a former Nervosa member. I don't want to say names, but she said that uh, that she could not fix her schedule to Nervosa's schedule. So that's why I'm wondering. That's my question. If you fit Nervosa very well, so it be it wouldn't be a good thing to see you go, right? So if you guys can schedule that, it'd be badass, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, 
so far things are going great and I hope they can continue like that. So, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you fit the picture very well. Very cool. So don't leave. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> so here's a different question, Hell. It's a little controversy going on on the internet. Do you feel a new band needs a record company to make it out there or, or can a band make it with uh, no label and just with social media? How do you feel about that? You know, it really depends on the material you have. If you have a good music, because that's the base of everything, and if you really are passionate about it, then there are ways to make it. And the social media and YouTube and all these platforms really help. Um, of course, a label can also help you to get the, like more promotion or be able to book uh, gigs and everything. But if you're really good, and your music is good, then you can do it through social media as well. Yeah, there you go. Good answer. I've asked this Thanks. question. I've asked this question to different uh, uh, artists that I like yourself that I interview, and and some say the same thing. Some say the other way around. And but that's a good point. It comes down to the music, right? I mean, if if fans like your music, they'll naturally yes. they'll be attracted to your social media and to your music, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there are more. You have more a bigger audience through social media people can find you way more easily but that means that there is way more competition because of that but uh, you really have to believe in what you do and you really have to you know deliver something with quality and not just depend on social media and uh, just a video or a photo and everything like that you have to still remember that music is what counts yeah I saw an interview with Alice Cooper a couple of years ago where he saw this new band with uh, masks and a uh, whole uniform uh, it wasn't Slipknot it was somebody else it was a newer band and he was he was telling them he was like well okay I like the uniforms and the visual but where's your message Where, where's your song what's what's your music yes, like or exactly yeah so exactly back to what you just said you know it's the music you can dress up however you want you can put makeup wigs or whatever if your material is not there well it's not going to work but very cool point there yeah right yeah, yeah. so, so yeah. let's change gears here to where everything began Uh, web, uh, what's going mm -hmm. on? What's going on with Web right now, Hill? Uh, what's going on there? Give us an update. Well, uh, well uh, as you know, the the band signed like last year with uh, Metal Blade Records, which was a huge like upgrade. Congrats! Awesome. And uh, now we are about to release a new EP, it, probably in September or October, and we have already recorded um, recorded. Like, we have two video clips for the EP. And uh, we're gonna back it up with <laughs> a lot of stuff. And we are uh, arranging new shows in 2024. So new things are coming up there as well. Well, wow, you're just busy, huh? You're a super busy person. Um, do you... <laughs> right now, it's, yeah, it's very busy right now. That's true. And then for people that follow you on, on social media, uh, we know you have a baby too. So so how are you doing this yes. with, with a baby? <laughs> You know, uh, it's surreal because I thought that with a baby I would be less involved, but it's like she's my lucky star and yeah. I have more things going on. <laughs> so I feel super blessed and um, I couldn't be more happy with the whole combination. Wow, that's just uh, hats off to you. I mean, uh, to mm -hmm. all the stuff you do, different projects and bands, and, and then you have a baby uh, to take care of and... It's awesome. Wow. Yes. Super busy. Yes, yes, but I, yes, and when I'm here, I'm like 24-7 uh, with her, and uh, I just love spending time with her, so it, it, it's amazing. Would you do anything different in your life, hell, if you had a chance to go back in time? Time travel, I guess. Would you do anything different? Like in any part, you mean? What, yeah. what do you mean? Anywhere? Uh, life and music, uh, any part. I think I would uh, not 
pay so much attention to some people in my life <laughs> that proved to be like really toxic for really? me. Wow. I wish I knew that before, but uh, yeah, the major uh, choices would be the same, but less attention to several people that uh, are now like out of my life, but I wish I knew it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so you're talking about personal stuff, right? Or is this music-wise? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, personal, personal. Oh, wow, okay. Sorry to hear that. Wow. Wow, so if you could time travel back in time, uh, which era would you visit and what year would it be? Ha, huh, okay. Very, I don't uh, think I would go that back in time. I think I would go like uh, mid-80s, where all the great albums <laughs> have been released. <laughs> right. Just to, to, to experience the, the early 80s era, like, you know, the, um, the, the, the beginning of metal. It'd be cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so which bands uh, would you go uh, check out if you were there back in the 80s? Which is your, one of your, I guess, your musical heroes? Who are your, your dream bands to meet and all that? Uh, well, I think I'll meet all the, like, classic bands like Metallica or Judas Priest, uh, Megadeth. Uh, Black Sabbath I mean like all those people that became like huge but I would like to find them at the beginning you know to see how they were before the whole uh, takeoff of their careers awesome so uh, what's next for, for yourself Hell? what's going on after this Nervosa tour summer dates what's on your plan book I just take it uh, one step at a time. Like right now, I want to enjoy the summer festivals because we have some really major ones like uh, Vakken, and uh, then all the album releases that will be in fall. So, you know, enjoying this process. Before we let you go, Hell, uh, would you like to send a message to your your fans around the world listening to this podcast and your friends? Yes. Uh, first of all. Like everybody says, I mean, thank you for your support. You know, artists are nothing without their fans. So it's it's huge deal when you have support. And uh, please believe in music and don't let it die because we're living through difficult times and we all need you. Awesome. Thank you for making time, Hill. I appreciate the, the chat and... It's good talking to you. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you in it Texas. It was great talking to you, man. Thank you very much. Support the great Hellpire. H-E-L-P-Y-R-E. Isn't that a metal name for sure? And anyways, thank you, Hell or Helena, as her actual name is. Thank you for making time, chatting with us. We truly appreciate your talent. You are a walking talent for sure. An awesome vocalist who also sang on stage with King Diamond. Isn't that something right there? Uh, you got to be a talent for sure to, to be on stage with a, a legend like King Diamond and sing like that. And then she turns around and, and does the metal voice on for After Blood. And then she turns around and plays badass bass for Webb and Nervosa. Anyways, thank you, Hill, for being a part of the show. We wish you the best in your busy, busy career and with your baby and family. On behalf of your friend James and everybody at That Metal Interview Podcast. And from your friends and fans, of course. Uh, we wish you the best and thank you for being a part of the metal scene. Anyways, as far as our podcast, don't forget to download, subscribe, share. You know what to do. We truly appreciate it. And don't forget to keep it metal. <laughs>